Jason Layden with major film events at New Filmmakers Los Angeles held at the AT&T Center downtown Los Angeles. A great event, guys. It brings out up-and-coming actors, directors, writers, producers, and it gives them a chance to showcase their films and also gives them a chance to walk down this red carpet and talk to me. So I'm going to talk to some of these guys and get at the scoop on some of these films, and I'll check back with you guys soon. Aaron Dallavilla from She Be The One. Yeah, baby. You are the lead. Lead, yep. Okay, tell me about your part. Tell me about the film, because I have no film, idea. The film is a dark comedy about a gentleman named Casey okay. who one day receives a call from a girl whom he slept with uh, that has a peculiar itch. Here, bring your friend My in. brother. This so is your brother. How are you doing? <laughs> what, is your, what is your name? Mark Grich. Now, are you in the film or are you his brother? He's I'm a director. As he came here, my brother, my brother. You know, so you're the director. You're from Chicago. I mean, I'm from, the, from New York. Yes, I'm from. Chicago. Well, so I'm, how did you actually, I'm guy? from Europe, from Serbia, but I've lived in Chicago yeah, for a long time. He's hard. He's hard. Yes. How did? Wh where did this one coming from? This one's a character. Mars. <laughs> uh, I believe Mars. Yeah. Let's wrap it up, guys. Enjoy okay, the rest so of the night. MarcoKrujic.com, yes. AaronDellaVilla.com, yep. JasonLayden.com. There we go. Shit, why not? Get the itch. Exactly. Yes. If you have an itch, the call these guys up. Hi, my name is Kylan Conroy, and I'm with um, the film She Be The One. I am the scorned girlfriend. That's oh. who I am. I know. You play the victim. I do play the victim. My jerk boyfriend. Did you have at least something to pull from in real life? Oh, yeah. I have tons. Definitely. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's always like a good part of life. I know, right? So this is nice. You got your film here at New Filmmakers Los Angeles. That's a great, great um, accomplishment. Enjoy the rest of your night, sweetie. It was great You look great. You. So I'm talking with Ross Colton and his gang. He's the director of Aldo. First off, let's talk about the film. I kind of know what it's about, but I don't think the audience knows. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's pretty much about a hairstylist who gets into deep trouble with uh, loan sharks because the uh, place is about in a basketball playoff series. So you're the hairstylist? Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of thought he was because of the craziness that's going on. Well, that's right. It's a Christopher Walken. <laughs> I did that. That's did my work. That? Yeah, that's that? my work. All right, guys. So you're one of the actors. Yes. Um, you are the hairstylist that made the bad bet. What about you? I'm, I put the driver. The driver of the getaway car? Of the bookie that uh, he's in trouble with. Well, give me a little background. What inspired this film? Is it because of your friend here? I think it's just because Ross and uh, my brother had an idea to film something. They didn't know exactly what, it, but they filmed a couple scenes. A lot of him um, cutting people's hair, which was improvised, and we wanted to make a film out of it. Okay. So that came into me writing some things and helping out. Yeah, and yeah. Dad always said a great thing to us, a great piece of us. He said, ain't nothing to it but to do it. There you have it. Guys, enjoy the rest of the night. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Patrick Fawcett, he's an actor. You know him from the haves and have nots on the OWN network, right? So did you meet Oprah? Uh, I didn't. I have to ask that. <laughs> I came in, uh, in the middle of season one. So Oprah came to the set around episode five. Just and I once? Episode seven. <laughs> so I just missed her. So what's it like on that set? Um, it's great. It's a it's a great family set. Tyler Perry's like the captain of the ship, you know, and he's a big dude. He's like six. Is he, is he pretty tall? He's like six five. Big dude. I've never met him. Yeah, but he's into everything. He's like total control of the whole set, from the lighting top to bottom to everything. So I'm talking with Adam Rosenbaum. This is Matt Goffrey, and they are the writers. Direct. You wrote. I wrote and it you yeah. and and you're a writer director. and director. I know that you both are part of the same film. Tell me yeah. the film's name. Kang Creek. Tell me a little bit about the film. Uh, it's set in the backwoods south, sort of an unnamed state. Um, two childhood friends are sort of reunited after what's presumably a really long time. What's the inspiration? Like, are you guys just creepy people? <laughs> I mean, basically, like, yeah. Someone's going to step into oh, this um, interview. In. Hello. I, I, this beautiful, I don't even know your name. Katie Sharp. Sharp. Katie Sharp, you look sharp. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you're the, one of the actresses? Yes. Okay, tell the me. Only actress. Well, they're not really telling. So you're one of two, right? Because there's two, two different people. Well, mainly the other. two people. Okay, all right. I, I can't, it's so hard to talk about this movie without just blowing it. Yeah, it's a lot of secrets. I'm going to come in here. I have someone else that wants to be here. Um, you guys just have this big, like, group. I love it. 
Um, what is your name? I'm Jeff Rosick, and I compose the music for the composer. Oh my God! So it's creepy music. Yeah, we, we, yeah. I guess we could. I, Did they at least tell you what it was about before you composed it? I, I had an idea of what, what I was getting into when when we when we uh, wrote the music for it. Let's just wrap it up. I'm glad the whole <laughs> cast is here. The whole crew, the grip, whoever else you guys, I'm, I'm just playing. Um, enjoy the rest of the night, guys. It's talking with John Bobeck. He is one of the actors in Recoil, a film screening here tonight. Um, first off, I like the look. Tell me a little bit about your part in the film. Uh, you know, it, it, doing this film was, was amazing um, because it's got all these great sci-fi special effects and everything, but at the heart of the story is, is these two brothers. And at the end of the day, I, I feel like that hits the heart. Evan Matthews, the director of Recoil. First off, I did get a chance to see a little clip. I love Star Trek. I like movies like this. Um, it had a really cool look about it. I liked it. I, it sounds. It looked like you did a lot of these types of films before. Have you done many short films? I've done a lot of short films. Okay. Um, this was definitely the biggest. The heart of the story is about brothers, okay. and um, our hero Marshall is has an opportunity to save his brother who's lost in deep space, or save himself, and he ends up going after him, risking being trapped in the recoil effect, which is a time loop. Nice chatting with you. Enjoy the rest of the night. I'm talking with. Chris Valenziano, Michael Beatty, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey Beatty. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. You are the director, producer, writer mm -hmm. of, of Life is Sweet. Of Life is Sweet. Um, it's a love story, correct? It is a love story. It's a little bit of a, a dramedy. It's got some comedy, some drama, but it's uh, yeah, it's a guy, a girl, and an ice cream truck, and a little bit of a love story. So, tell me, um, I heard you. I overheard, and I, I was eavesdropping. But this is a short film mm -hmm. that is from a, a feature film. Yes. Well, it was. It's a feature script that I wrote. Did you have a chance to read the full script, Mikey? I have never read the feature. No. no. Well, I, I ask because I was like, is it harder to jump into that character if you're just getting 19 minutes? I believe it is. There was a lot to go to use for the script. Yeah. I feel like we really flushed out the characters the way they needed to be, so it wasn't that difficult. Just, uh, I mean, Chris is really specific about his direction of, yeah. of who these people were and what they wanted and everything. So that that made it fairly simple uh, as an actor to to kind of get into the the space of of Noah. It's talking to this handsome guy, Trey Ireland. We were just talking about how cool his name is. That has like stars written all over it. Well, uh, Has anyone ever told you that? They said I'm waiting for it to really actually happen now, so we, we're building it up now to, well, to get it on the marquee. What happens is you, talk, you say things and Put it goes out to the universe. It's, it's laws of attraction. Yes. Yeah. So you, people will see you soon in uh, The Wedding Ringer, right? The Wedding Ringer, yes. Yeah, Tell me a little bit about it. It's a movie I deal with uh, with Kevin Hart and Kaylee Kuko from uh, The Big Bang Theory and uh, Mimi Rogers. And what it is is uh, he, Kevin Hart owns this company called uh, The Best Men Incorporated. Okay. It's for guys who are lonely, who don't have any friends. And so they would call this company up. The name alone is funny. And he acts as the best man, and all his friends act as the groomsmen. So it's all, it's like wedding crashers meets, I don't know, something. It you know, sounds hilarious. It's going to be uh, hysterical. Oh, cool. I can't wait now. Can't wait to see it. Wow, great night, guys. Lots of talented guys and girls coming down this red carpet. Great movie, She Be the One. I talked to some crazy people tonight. You should get down here, check out some of these films. Every month, guys, New Filmmakers Los Angeles at the AT&T Center. I'll be here, and I'm going to wait for you.